All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <clears throat> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, Immolation is the cause of death. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. You were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. Oswald V. Van Stein, we find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Do you have any last words? Harvey, the man who took everything from me, shall die by my hand, I swear it. Frigid Isle, a solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Blanketed in snow all through the year. The nearest continent is due east. Four days journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Even then, the fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mightiest ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? Hmm? <laughs> 
You know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. Take it back! I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow! Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> What's that look for? I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. When you're begging for your life, that is. <laughs> Ah! 
13 seconds. 13 seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook, using a cipher naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years and polished it to a fine sheen. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second, suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I am clad in nothing but these rags. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the fridge of earth. It's immensely flammable and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Mine, scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death! What's wrong with you? Move anymore. Too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever gods you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to set alight. Do you understand? Answer me! 
Warden, sir, is already dead. An unfortunate common sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. You there. A word. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. <clears throat> ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. And all that time you've been feigning indifference. You surveil the place, right? <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. Far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts and people plotting an escape. That's it. If it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter, 
So which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former, or not if you're the latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. I went in on your plan. Hmm. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information's good. Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot from your observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. I can certainly use him to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Possible, though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? <laughs> the plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Oswald. Oswald. Have you found the answer? To work, maggots! Move!
I must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. <laughs> the Underground Passage? I don't just know it, I helped build it. But don't go asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. The library.
This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. <laughs> Aha. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to yourselves! Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. Oswald. Have you found the answer? No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. <laughs> Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat! Up and out! So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. Not for money given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, you won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't believe this prison. Here it is. Surely this is the Provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Finally come to pain, have you? Hmm. What's that scrap of paper in your hand? What in the... Where did you get this? What, whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Hmm. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Back to your cells, you animals! That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. Oswald. Have you found the answer? <sighs> I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey, to provide the final piece for you. <laughs> Harvey. came in. What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it... It's your lucky day, scum! Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil! Do I make myself clear? <clears throat> At least that's the last I'll ever feel of that club, right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. 
<laughs> All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. I can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. The inspector should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage.
Hmm. <laughs> 